kid is bad boy out, man. That is the great white baby. She looking good. You feel me? Man, what's up, y'all, dude? It's your boy, the one and only CK Spazzin. And you know how it go on this channel, on the flow. You get down, get that bread, and that boy in your head. It's your boy CK Spazzin, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in on today's video. Today's video is just gonna be a rundown, upgrades and review, updated upgrades and review on my 2022 GSXR 750. For all the people who are already onto the channel, man, y'all already know the bike. Y'all seen the bike, y'all know what it's hitting for. Y'all know everything about it. But to the new people, Welcome to the channel, man. I appreciate you for tuning in with your boy, CK Spaz. If you enjoyed the video, hey, go, man, go check out my, all my other videos, man. I promise you, bro, you'll never be let down, man. Join the Spaz Out crew. Hit that subscribe button, man. Join the Spaz Out crew, man. We a live family. We a team, strong team. Nothing but motivation and positivity on this channel only. But with that being said, let's get back into this video. Cause, damn, it's raining outside, bro. Yeah, today's not gonna be a riding video. It for sure not gonna be a riding video. It's raining outside and shit. But I'm gonna go ahead and run through this video quick, man. The rain ain't gonna stop it, bruh. Look, updated, upgrades, and review on my 2022 Jixxon 750, man. Hey, as y'all know, if you watched the previous videos, I changed the colorway of the bike. If you didn't watch the previous videos, hey, man, I highly suggest, bro, go check out my other videos on the channel, bro. I promise you, bro, you will enjoy them, you will like them, and that way you can catch up. And then when you watch those videos, come back so you can see the difference between now and then. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I appreciate y'all, bro. Thank y'all for all the support, all the subscribers. Listen, we almost at 1,700, you feel me? We almost at 1,700 subscribers, bro. Shut your ass up. We almost at 1,700 subscribers, bro. That's crazy. That is insane, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. We really can hit 2,000 by the end of next month, bro. End of next month. It's a big goal. <laughs> hey, I really truly believe that it's possible, bro. We can hit 2,000 by the end of next month, bro. I think it's gonna happen, man. But I wanna say appreciate y'all for all y'all all support, all the subscribers, all the new subscribers. Appreciate all the comments on the videos, man. I just, man, bro, I'm blessed, bro. I really say, I really, I'm grateful, bro. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all to all the men and women that support the channel. Appreciate you. We're gonna start from the front to the back. First, oh, man, let me go grab my keys. Changed out those ugly ass yellow headlights that it came with the bike, bro. Yellow ass, dark brown, boo boo shit stain looking <laughs> yellow headlights, bro. I took them out and I also changed my blinkers as y'all can see. I put LED headlights, high beam and low beam, side lights right here too. Cause you these you me I, I went the extra mile, bro, and I changed these right here. I forgot what they call, bro, but I them are LEDs as well, bro. And because if not, these would have been dark yellow and these this would have been bright. This wouldn't look right look right. So I went and I changed the whole thing out and I did it myself. Easy install, bro, not hard. So I got my LED headlights, um, high beam, low beam, the two the two little LED lights on the side. I think they called, um, so I, I, I don't wanna tell y'all no dumb shit. But you know, if you look up videos, you'll see that. I changed them out, it was yellow, that, that yellow, yellow shit, like when you buy an old car. Changed it out, put LEDs on the front, right? Put LEDs for my signal lights. On this side, this side, and they also on the back as well also on the back as well so you know what i'm saying give it just a little touch you feel me we go when we go from there let's go ahead since we already looking at it p u uh p i damn p u i g wind diffuser windscreen love it bro looks sexy get a bike a more of an aggressive look you know it's like a it's like a um it got a lot of curvature to it man it's like a two-tone as y'all can see you know i see that and it sits up high, bro. I, I I really, I like the way it look, man. I like the way the, the bike look with it, bro. It look, it look good, bro. It make it look sportier, bro. Make it look faster because the bike come with this one right here. 
as I showed y'all in previous videos, it's all dirty and shit because I don't, I literally don't use it. But this is the original one, bro. And as y'all can see, that shit flat and boring. But I mean, I rocked that for a little while too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some people like it. And I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it looked bad. You know what I'm saying? But I prefer the PUIG, bro. Way better, in my opinion. Keep it's, it got a, a better, a higher arch to it. That way. It's knocking more wind out of your face. It's going over your helmet. Now, don't get me wrong. You're still going to have wind on your head now. So, don't be thinking I'm saying you're not going to feel no wind. But it does help out because with that one, it's just flat down, bro. But with this one, as you can see, it goes up. You know what I'm saying? So, help out with the wind a little bit, bro. Let me turn my key up. All right. From there, since you're still in the front, br front brakes. I clutch levers. So my front brakes right here, little Jake's assemble on there, if y'all can see that. Thought it was dope, bro. Have a, uh, what is it, six modes on here? So that way you can make it shorter, higher, however you want to do it. Like right now, this is as short as you can put it. Flip this switch right here. Let's see if y'all can see that. See how it dropped down? Back up. So, yeah, man. I got this for my my front, my brake side, and my clutch side, bro. And which that really helps out right here too, bro. That's all the pull I need. With that other one, with the original, with the OEM fucking clutch levers, you gotta fucking grip it like this and shit all the way down. This is shift a gear or whatnot, but that help out, bro. Especially for the guys who wanna do wheelies, which I can't do wheelies no more since, I mean, I could, man. It ain't impossible, I could, but it'll be a little bit more difficult since I got my stretch kit on there, but we gonna get to that. So back to the clutch levers and the front brakes. I changed these out myself, got these off eBay. Anything y'all want, bro, comment down below, man. What is it that y'all want? Bro, I respond to every comment. So if you want something, I'm telling y'all, hit me. All y'all gotta do is just send me a, uh, just send me, a, just comment down. Damn, can't get it out. Just comment down and I'ma send y'all the link. I do it all the time. It's coming down what it is y'all want, and I'm gonna send you the link. Simple as that. Y'all, for all my OGs, man, people who seen my previous videos, watched my older videos, y'all know I didn't lost the phone on this bike bro, already, bruh. I done lost the phone on this bike, but I had a bullshit ass phone mount, and I was racing with, one, with my partners, and my phone came off, and I lost that bitch. It cracked everything. It was terrible, bro. And then I ended up upgrading to the, um, the Ram phone mount. When you squeeze down and put your phone in there. And a lot of people, man, I want to say appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying, encouraging me to get the go, the, uh, the quad lock. I actually got it on my phone too as well. I got the case. I'm not gonna lie, best decision I made when it comes to my phone security and my phone on my bike, period, bro. Appreciate y'all for telling me to get the quad lock, bro. So I went ahead and bought it. I bought the quad lock, bro. I'm telling you, dude, you're not wasting your money. Go ahead and get the quad lock. Stop being cheap. Get it, bro. I promise you, bro, it's an investment for yourself. You don't want to lose a phone. Trust me, I've been there. Listen to me, bro. Take, take my word for it, bro. It's secure, bro. My phone don't move. It don't do that more, that sliding over shit no more. Y'all remember watching my videos, my phone would be fucking tilting. I'm always moving my hand. I got to take my hand off, you know what I'm saying, off the bike. Just put myself in danger, bro, because my phone's sliding over and I'm trying to make it back straight. Y'all know that because y'all be telling me I ain't get the, get the quad lock. So I went ahead and got the quad lock, bro. Appreciate y'all, man, for all that, man. Appreciate y'all for inspiring me to get it. I want to tell y'all that first and foremost. And I also got the vibration damper there on it too as well because that shit with the iPhones and the vibration on the motorcycles or whatever and the camera getting fucked up. I ain't got time for that, bro. Vortex, a little sticker in there because I got the lowering links for my bike to lower my bike. That's why y'all be seeing a sticker right here, man, because I got some Vortex lowering links for my motorcycle. They're not on at this very moment on this during this video, they're not on this bike, so this is not lowered at all. The lower links are sitting in my backpack in the garage, but a simple fact is, I can't get it out. I tried to put them on myself, but I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see that bolt in there. I cannot reach that bolt right there on that lower link because every time I try to pull it out, it's hitting the pipe. So I have no way to, to take that bolt out unless I take it to a shop and they have to take off the whole headers because this pipe this mid pipe is welded on to the header valves, the header pipe. So there's nothing I can do right there. That's the only reason why my bike not lower right now. Man. I, honestly, 
it don't bother me that much to even go spend that much money to get it lowered to be honest stickers got this off of ebay i guess it's just something for your handlebar handlebar stickers i just it matched my uh my tank pad my tank grip little jackson shit got that off of ebay as well came with this little Jixxer thing for your keychain, little keychain piece, little oil cover. Dope, I always like those. Look good. Little touch make the inside look good. As y'all can see it, it makes it like it's like the inside. Of, this is like the inside of your car right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're inside your car. People had a little incense hanging on the wind on the back on the rear view mirror. You know what I'm saying? You got little, little this little shit in your car. This is basically your, your inside of your car. So make it look good. You know what I'm saying? Got my little oil cover, quiet lock, little keychain looking good. Baby got me this little helmet thing. That's hard too. I ain't gonna lie. But then this right here, this shit dope. I like it. moving back now. As y'all can see, if y'all watch my older videos and if y'all watch my new video, y'all know I did a reveal on the new colorway, man. This is the new colorway. Man, I'm so upset it's not bright and beautiful outside, bro. This video gonna be ugly, dude. But it is what it is. I gotta bring y'all some content, man. I had a gold Jixxer logo right here. And I had a uh, fluo yellow. White came with that little yellow strip right here. And I had fluo yellow. Uh, rim covers on my rims swap that out now the color is gray white carbon fiber black red that shit is dope it looked like a great white shark that's why i call it great white it's like a great white shark right and the red represents the blood like taking a, taking a bite out of something you know what i'm saying so gray white man i call my baby the gray white for sure for sure jigs assembles carbon fiber side panels right here and Right here on the back as well. I got those off eBay, man. If y'all want a link, let me know. I can send y'all a link. Simple as that. It's that easy. All y'all gotta do is comment down below. I'll send y'all the link. And, and they um, it's a it's a separate purchase, but I, it's from the same place. So they're gonna come in at the same time. So it's not like it's a package. Them this and that don't come together. You gotta buy them separate. But they come, they gonna get shipped in together. So. And I, and I ain't gonna lie, that shit hard though. And these 3D print, it's not, it's not the, it's not the flat, the flat stickers that the bike come with. It's 3D. So it's 3D carbon fiber print right here, bro. It's hard. Next up, let's go ahead with the rims, bro. Cause a lot, I get a lot of comments on these rim stickers, bro. And a lot of people, and I'm being honest, bro. I'm not lying, bro. I'm not one of them YouTubers that just be saying shit to make y'all be like, oh my god, I gotta get those. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them, bro. But I'm gonna let y'all check them out for yourself. Then I'm gonna say what I gotta say. It's hard. Both sides. Same thing on this side. Back side. Y'all see that? J Jixxer 750. That's, size, that's the bike I got. And it just goes all the way around, bro. It's dope. Look good. I get a lot of comment on those rims, bro. A lot of people love them, man. And I, and I mean, I love them too myself, bro. I'm telling y'all, y'all get them stickers for y'all wheels, whether it's a Jixxer, whatever bike, but you're gonna fall in love with your bike even more, man. That shit looks so fucking sexy, dude. And actually, uh, now that I'm speaking on the wheels, bro, I'm missing one more thing for my bike to even set it off, but I knew it was gonna be some bullshit with it when I bought it, bro. I bought some tire stickers to go up on my tires, bro, as well. That shit would've just set the bike off, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. It was some tire stickers to go around my wheels, man. But I was supposed to have them things here on, on the 20th, bro. It's the 24th right now. But the thing is, even two weeks later after I bought the shit, bro, it never said anything about departing. The they they gave me they never gave me a shipping number or nothing. Well, let's move on from that. That's not let's not be negative. You know what I'm saying? Bike look good, bro. I ain't got nothing to complain about. Thank God for blessing me with it, with this beautiful machine. Thank God for blessing me with y'all. The most fucking amazing crew ever, man. Family, bro, I appreciate y'all as our crew. No bullshit, I really do, man. I appreciate y'all. And thank God, man, for blessing me with another day to be able to breathe in this beautiful fresh air, man. Wheels, eBay as well. Uh, tank side grip. I got these, I got these off, uh, I got these off eBay as well, bro. And these been on my bike. Y'all know, y'all seen these. These been on my bike. These little Jixxer side, uh, side grips. 
uh, tank pad covers, but it's really more of like a grip, bro, for your leg, but my legs don't move on these shits. Got this from Amazon as well. Uh, did these come together? I can't remember. Nah. I don't think them came together. Damn, she's lifting up. Oh, they go quality right there, bro. It's raining outside, but there's no reason it should be lifted up, but I, I put these on like a week or two ago. But anyway, uh, let's head to the seat. Your bike, when you buy this bike brand new, if you buy you, somebody may have already bought one of these, so you don't have to purchase it, but I had to buy a seat cow for my bike, because it didn't, my bike didn't come with it, it just came with a seat, so I deleted my seat. I took my pegs off, honestly, uh, obviously, but, uh, I got this decal off eBay for like 20 bucks, I think, 30 bucks. Uh, I don't see what the point is buying real carbon fiber for that. If the rest of the carbon fiber on the bike is really plastic, so. But teach is on, man. You wanna do that, you do that. Let's go ahead and head down to my M4 Shorty Slip On Exhaust. I get a lot of comments and people asking me, what, what exhaust kit you got, CK? Hey, CK, what, what exhaust you got, man? Hey, CK, what exhaust you got? This is it. M4 Shorty Slip On Exhaust, man. And it sounds fucking amazing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start it up for y'all. A true cold start. As y'all can see, that motherfucker loud. <laughs> hey, my bike, is, my bike is straight pipe all the way through, bro. So straight pipe. I have no muffler. The muffler obviously off because I have the M4 slip on. The cat is off. Cat deleted. Welded. My, my, I got a mid pipe I bought. Got it welded on. And uh, I have a tune, a flashing tune by More Mafia. I sent my ECU out to More Mafia. Y'all don't know him, bro. Go check out his YouTube channel. Chris Moore, he do a lot of drag racing and he he, he specializes in Jixers, specifically in high boosters. The power, the reaction time, everything is just, it, you, you, you notice that shit night and day. I highly suggest doing that, bro. That way you get in the actual raw power from your bike, bro. Right now, if you got your bike brand new, a uh, bike from somebody and it's not flash and tune and you don't have the exhaust off, you missing out, bro. You're not really getting the whole deal, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Your bike halfway alive, bro. It's half dead, half alive, bro. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna open your bike up, man. Give it some life, man. But I wouldn't do it if you got on a stock exhaust in your cat. Take that shit off. Take your time. You ain't gotta be rushing, bro. Just cause you're seeing this shit all on the YouTube and on the internet, man. And you want to just jump fly like everybody else, bro. Take your time, man. You ain't got to get everything right at once. So if you got to do it piece by piece, like me, you feel me? I ain't the richest motherfucker in the world, bro. Don't let these videos fool you, bro. You feel me? I'm a working man. You feel me? So I took my time out. I got my I got my info exhaust. Soon I got that, I put it on. I took off that stock exhaust because I was just not riding like that. I couldn't. This shit was quiet. And plus, my opinion, I don't like the way it looks. It's ugly. So, got my M4 slip on exhaust. A uh, couple months later, I end up getting my mid pipe. I had my uncle come and saw off my cat. Because he, he, he work and he do that type of saw and shit. And he cut it off. I don't know if y'all can see that, bro. But he did a he did a slim cut, and it was it had to be perfect because my throttle valve is like right there, my exhaust valve. So he had to cut right up on it, man. It get right up on it. And it was only like this much of lip left for my for my mid pipe that I ordered to like clip on to. So it wasn't enough to seal it. So I had to take it to a, a local shop down here on my side of town to get it welded on and they welded it and it was good from there. Uh, I rode it like that for a little bit. My bike was running real rich. Uh, so what I had to do is I had to, after a while, save up a little bit more money, send my send my ECU out there, bro. So it 
to more Chris Moore, more Mafia. Got my ECU flash and tune. And got that boy flaming, shooting the flames, popping. Pops is crazy. I'm telling y'all, the videos don't do it no justice on how good these fucking pops and bangs be sounding, bro. And the flames is crazy. Every time my, my bike is popping, it's shooting flames. To get that, whenever you send him your ECU to get flash and tune by more Mafia, you, you want to tell him you want your bike you want him to take turn off deceleration fuel cut when you turn the deceleration fuel cut off that allows for your bike to pop and two flames and all of that fun stuff you feel me got the exhaust out the way told y'all that shenanigans let's go ahead and move on to i got <clears throat> this uh carbon fiber this is actually real carbon fiber right here though uh exhaust cover for the bike i bought this myself i think this was like Oh, damn, I can't even remember, bro. Like 50, 70, 50, 50 to 70 bucks. I bought this carbon fiber uh, exhaust cover for the M4 slip on. Um, it was actually a little bit, the fitment wasn't perfect for it. I ain't gonna lie, bro, because uh, maybe it's just the way I put my exhaust on, but as y'all can see right here, like, it's not even clipped. If y'all can see that, like it's not clipped in there. So I just, I just got put a little washer right here on this bolt. Tighten it up real tight, it ain't going nowhere. Put my, I put a stretch kit on my bike. I changed my my brake hoses. I had to flush this out. Add a new longer brake hose, obviously because the ones the OEM ones is too short. So I had to order me a brake cable, new brake hose. I mean, and uh, I got this Jixer, uh stretch kit off of eBay as well. I think the whole thing was like, am I mistaken? Like three hundred. $300? 300 to 400 bucks for that, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. But I wanted my bike stretching to look good, bro. You know what I'm saying? My bike. <laughs> At the end of the day, my bike. But, uh, look good. It came with a chain. I didn't go with it. I didn't go that right with the chain. I ended up ordering me a 3D chain, black and gold. This chain was like 300 bucks itself, but one of the highest quality chains you can get, bro. And it look good, bro. When it's cleaned up and shit, superb, man. Not gonna lie. Black and gold 3D chain. Uh, know if y'all can see that. This is a little shit like this you don't see on video. But yeah, now nah, I'm up close to personal with it. Uh, got that. While we down here, man, I really do. I really, really want to, man. I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. I don't need to, but it'll be more. It'll be fun to have it. Uh, excuse me. For acceleration and whatnot. I want to change my sprocket sizes, man. Front and my back. I don't know which route I want to go. I don't know if I want to do it for more acceleration, which I, I ain't gonna lie. I like my bike snappy and it just take off. Cause I already got the acceleration, bro. That's why we. That's why we be beating uh, 1000s and shit, bro. You can beat a 1000 to 750 any time of the day, bro. I promise you. Especially when you got the tune and shit. But uh, I want to change my my sprockets, man, to get better acceleration or to have. A higher top off speed man but i mean who's really going you're not sitting here riding the 190 bro for for so long you know what i'm saying so i really would rather when you racing somebody it's not that long but you're not topping up i mean you could but i mean i'll get what i'm trying to say bro might drop a tooth for something and then uh that way i can have better uh acceleration bro yeah i for sure ain't no ain't no 1000 beating me then yeah, uh, what else, man? What else, what else, what else, what else? I mean, I got this little clutch lever uh, cover. I forgot who it's by, bro. There's some on the bottom, but that's for my shoes and shit. I ain't give me some boots, but that's for my shoes. Uh, man, I think that's it, bro. I think I'm, yeah, I think I, I think I pretty much covered everything, man. To keep it real with y'all. I really, I, I think I, I think that's it, bro. I think I hit it. I think I hit the nail on every piece of wood in this video, dog. Cause I be forgetting shit. I don't, I don't think I'm forgetting nothing, man. I mean, I got I got some uh, I actually have some LED lights for my bike to put inside the fenders and shit so it can light up and shit. I actually have that for my bike. I just haven't installed it yet, man. Honestly, I just I've been I've been avoiding that shit, bro. I'm not trying to get in there and fuck with wires and shit. But my dad, he got a Harley and he he be fixing on his bike all the time. So I think I'm just had a 
have old man go ahead and give me a hand with that shit, man, because I got lights and I be wanting my bike to be lit up at nighttime. That shit would be live. I think I covered every piece on the gray white, you know what I'm saying? So I want to say, bro, I mean this shit from the bottom of my heart, man. Your boy CK spazzing. Woo, came a long way, man. Hey, it feel good to be following these dreams, chasing the dreams, bro. I wake up and I thank God every day. Y'all should too, man. Thank God every day. No matter what situation you're going through, shit gonna get hard, bro. Times gonna be hard, bro. But I promise you, you gotta keep your head on straight and just give it to God. Give it to God. Let God handle it. Even when you doubtful and you feel like he might not be there, nobody there to help you, bro. I promise you, he's always there, man. And then, and then, and then when times get hard, bro, I promise you, when you get something that you fully deserve and you finally happen, happy, you will appreciate it way more, but God is always there with you, man. And if you're going through hard times, just give it to God, and I promise you, you will see a way through, man. It's always light at the end of the tunnel, I promise you. I want to tell y'all, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for all the love and the support. We almost at 1,700 subscribers. I think we off like by six or four subscribers, bro, and we had 1,700 subscribers. So I want to say thank y'all for tuning in, man, and I really appreciate y'all for all the support, man. If you're new to the channel, man, if you please, if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, man. Comment down below what you like about the video, if any, and if it's any parts that y'all would like for me to send y'all, I can send them to y'all, and y'all can have them, order them for your bike. I'm not a gatekeeper, you feel me? At the end of the day, the shit is for sale for anybody, so I'm not gonna hide what I bought, because I don't want nobody else to have it, because I mean, it's not hidden, it's, it's, it's out there, you feel me? So, I'm not one of them. So if there's anything y'all like on my bike, let me know. I send y'all the link. I just uh just tell me, hey, CK, where did you get so and so? I'ma comment down and then I'ma send you the link to that product for that what you asking for. You know what I'm saying? So uh yeah man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. It's your boy, CK Spazzin. I'ma catch y'all on the next one. You dig?